So Chris Evans recently said that Captain America Winter Soldier is his personal favorite Marvel movie that he was part of. He said the first film, the first Captain America film, I was so nervous. You know what you're stepping into. And as a result, you're playing defense and you're playing not to lose. Yeah, I was never impressed with Chris Evans um, before Captain America Winter Soldier. And he, he played uh, the Human Torch in uh, the Fantastic Four movies. And I was like, eh, he's okay. So I was shocked when they said he was going to be Captain America. But he actually has the right temperament to be Captain America because Captain America is kind of stoic. Captain America is not Tony Stark. He, you know, Robert Downey Jr. just always pops off the screen. And that's not his role. The reason when a soldier worked is that you had a lot of people surrounding uh, Chris Evans. So you had Sam Jackson's Nick Fury. You had the Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson playing the Black Widow was coming off Iron Man 2, who's the sexy spy Black Widow, who I, who I still miss. Uh, you had the Russo brothers directing, who are really good. And you had the Winter Soldier. And you create that whole stew, and it made a, an amazing film. Um, it's number one on my list of all time, uh, as far as Marvel movies. It's number two um, behind um, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight will always be my favorite card, but comic book movie. It's like Dark Knight, Captain America, Winter Soldier. I think number one is the original Superman, Christopher Reeve. So after I was reading this, I said, well, what else, what else is in my top 10? So here's my top 10 Marvel movies, um, Marvel and MCU. Number 10, Blade. I don't think Marvel has given Wesley Snipes his flowers when it comes to Blade. We wouldn't be talking about Winter Soldier. We wouldn't be talking about Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. We wouldn't be talking about Tommy Aguirre as Peter Parker. We wouldn't be talking about the X-Men movies if it wasn't for the success of Blade 1 and Blade 2. You know, and I think Marvel should kind of rectify that in some situation. Um, Because there was no Marvel movies. (laughs) They just kind of put it out there with Wesley, and Wesley made that film iconic. Number nine, uh, X-Men First Class with the young Magneto and Professor X. That's an amazing film because it felt like a Bond film because it was set in the 60s. Just cool. It just looked cool. It felt cool. The acting was cool. It just underrated film. Number eight, Avengers Endgame. Avengers Affinity War was great, but Endgame at the end when the blip happened, people were just sat there stunned because people were just disappearing and you didn't know what was going on and then you had to wait for the next one. Amazing. Uh, number seven, Logan, which was supposed to be Hugh Jackson's last run as Wolverine playing the old grizzled Logan. Really good. I mean, it's almost Oscar caliber what Hugh Jackman did with that role. And I hate that the Academy doesn't award uh, comic book movies because I think Hugh Jackman did a great uh, dramatic role uh, as a dying Logan. Uh, number six, Captain America Civil Wars. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. joined in as Tony Stark. There was a backstory with his dad. Really good, man. Like, I think Winter Soldier was so good that we forget how how great Civil Wars was. So if Civil Wars is on TV... Or you need something to watch, watch Civil War, Wars because it's, it's very underrated. It's, it it might actually be in my top... Ah, there's some other films. It used to be in my top four, but there's some other films that pushed it down. Number five, Thor Ragnarok. Really good combination of the first Thor and the Thunny Four. Um, the star was Kate Blanchett. Loki was in it. Loki's always good. Tom Hills is always good. But Kate Blanchett as his sister, I think it's Hella. She was amazing. I wish that her character was around more often. She was so good in that film, man. She didn't look like Kate Blanchett. She was walking, walking all sexy, like, yeah, I'm the. Sh- <laughs> I loved her in that movie. Uh, number four, Black Panther. <sighs> the tragedy of Chadwick Boseman dying is that we'll never see him and, Rob, Mar- and uh, Michael B. Jordan together in any film. They were magic together. That film was about them, about two black men, two black male leads, two black men from from growing up totally different. And 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 see how they're different, and and see how they're the same. It's all, it was a Malcolm and Martin type thing. I love those guys together. No, no disrespect to Black Panther two. It doesn't come close to the original Black Panther. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Number three, Iron Man. There was a lot of stake. Like, the studio, like, no one wanted Robert Downey Jr. because even though he was sober at that point, they didn't trust him because they thought he was going to relapse. Uh, John Favreau had to get insurance 
for Robert to guarantee that he would make, would be there for the whole shoot. So there was no expectations on Iron Man. But as a comic book fan, you're like, no, this works. He looks like Tony Stark. Robert had addiction issues because, you know, if you don't know, you know, Tony Stark was an alcoholic. It was perfect casting. Perfect film. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow and him. Them two as a couple. I love screen couples. And Robert and Gwyneth on screen are magic together. Yeah, I wish they actually did more things together. But you know, that time has passed. But those two together on screen, very sexy. Because it's, it's like they're friends, but they're flirt. You know, they should be a couple. Like, you just like, you. even with all the special effects, the relationship between Robert and Gwyneth was really special. Uh, number two, Spider-Man 2. Let me go back to Spider-Man 1. When Tobey Maguire first popped up on the screen, it's Peter Parker. It's like, that guy is Peter Parker. <laughs> I didn't know who Tobey Maguire was, but immediately, if you're a fan of the comic book, he is Tobey Maguire. He, he is, is Peter Parker. Now, again, Tom Holland has done a wonderful job as Spider as Spider Man, Andrew Garfield did a wonderful job as Spider Man. But if you talk about the quintessential Peter Parker Spider Man, it's always going to be Tobey Maguire and Spider Man Two. Man, like it's been like over like twenty years since that film came out. That film is amazing. It's like peak comic book movie storyline, peak <laughs> everything. You just I, I can't. I can't take my eyes off that film. It's amazing. And number one, Captain America, Winter Soldier. That's on this list. And again, across the board, number one would be uh, Dark Knight if I put in all comic book movies. So that's my list. So what is your favorite comic book Marvel movies? Is it Captain America, Winter Soldier? Is it something else? Did I forget something I should have had in my top 10? Let me know. <laughs>